Uh, yeah, so uh, last night, well yesterday we had the blockade and first was uh, the civil disobedience group from the camp and then in the evening a group of Kroningers came and when the Kroningers came there were some of us here from the blockade that uh, went to the fence to put up uh, banners. Yes. Uh, after the Kroningers came there was a little speech and then some people put up banners and then the police came with police dogs um, and so we went to be next to the people who were putting up banners uh, and we were stopped on our way to join that group, but we sat down anyway by the fence uh, with a group of four of us and then later became maybe seven people. Um, and when the dogs left, uh, the police backed up a bit and we also backed up a bit to sit a bit closer to the fence and closer to the banner that had been hung up behind us. Yeah. Uh, and then the police, well, yeah, they started to push us harder. They had already been like kneeing us in the back and kind of pushing us, telling us we needed to leave. Um, and when we scooted back a little bit, they got more aggressive. Maybe we scooted back this far. Yeah. Uh, they got more aggressive. And sorry, can sorry, Benny, it's on a doom. Yeah, so they got a bit more aggressive, and um, sorry, I got distracted by that. Um, yeah, sure, no problem. Yeah, so they started telling us that uh, they didn't want to use force, but maybe they had to use force if we wouldn't leave, and uh, what were we doing anyway? Uh, started hitting us harder and harder. And how, then, how were they hitting you? Well, so uh, first I had the feeling I was just being kneed in the back over and over, yeah. and then uh, then like with a stick, was sort of like this in yeah. my back, yeah. and then at some point uh, I, I looked behind and I saw that someone was holding one of the sticks, and he was really just like a battering ram hitting me in the same place on my shoulder blade over and over again. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, in an area where I have a previous injury, so that was quite painful, yeah. which is why I have this on now. Yeah. Um, yeah, but so they were telling us to leave, but at the same time they were hitting us quite hard, so there wasn't even really an opportunity to move. How do you stand up and walk away when somebody is beating you on the yeah, back? Yeah. And one of the police realized the two of us there were English speaking and said in English, Yeah, this is, you should leave, now you're just trying to prove a point. And I thought, yeah, and so are you, just trying to prove a point, only you are legally allowed to, yeah, yeah. to use violence against me, and yeah. I am not, and yeah. also don't want to. We're all here proving a point. Only these people are allowed to use violence to protect people who are already putting these, the Kroningers, and the climate in danger. And I find that very upsetting. And in response to this, I started shouting, we are peaceful, what are you? Which we shouted for a couple of minutes. Then they started to spray tear gas on us, which was quite watered down, but anyway, you could still feel the, that it was uh, the peppery stuff. Um, and at some point, yeah, it became impossible to stay there. I think more people joined them and were pushing behind us. So we tried to get up and leave and then we're still being beaten as we were le leaving the area. The guy, my buddy for the week, uh, yeah. got really hit to the ground and beat quite hard and had a lot of this tear gas sprayed on him, although we were retreating. So they asked us to leave and when we started to leave, they started beating us harder. So I just really... Uh, yeah, I feel really like it's, I'm not happy to be hurt, but I feel very much like I'm happy to have been able to be part of something which made it very clear how ridiculous this whole situation is. This company is putting people in danger, is putting the climate and the earth in danger, and they have the government police on their side allowed to be violent against us, and even when we choose to retreat, they continue to use violence against us. It's belacalic, it's totally ridiculous. And I feel glad to have to be part of showing how absolutely ridiculous it is. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. That was a lot. Account. No, <laughs> it's very good account. Um, okay. Um, eventually, you got away. Uh, were you? Uh, how? Uh, 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 what happened? The code route uh, people helped you. What? Oh yeah, of course. So we we <laughs> came. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Yeah, we came away. We came to the. There's obviously a first aid tent, AABO. Mm -hmm. uh, so we came here, and it was a little. Yeah, just here. Mm -hmm. And these are also volunteers. Everybody here is volunteering because mm -hmm. we care about this, yeah. and we are trying to have civil disobedience. 
So the volunteers at the first aid uh, came. There was someone more injured than we were, so we sat together, our group, uh, and waited for this other person to be helped. Then, uh, then people came to help us. And yeah, we just, I mean, we're, we also know each other here, so we're also supporting each other. That's the point. We're really trying to form a collective group of people who support each other, support the people in Kroninga, support other movements as well. Like, it's important to us, and yeah. we, we do that ourselves as well. Okay, uh, and you're still here, which I I'm think not uh, leaving. is great. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay.